guys, I'm officially recording. Woo! Are you though? Don't. Are you though? You make one. I make one mistake months ago, and I just haven't heard it the end of it. It was a big mistake. A big, our best show, right? Huge just mistake. Sucked up right into the ether, gone forever. It actually Bye-bye. was a real. It was a great show. It was a great show. Is this a closet in your home? Is this? A yeah, this is my closet. Jesus. This man. is my new. Well, Cutter and I share it. Obviously, this is our new closet. Jesus. I hired this company. It's like a popular company, but it's not like the primo company where, you know, you would like, you know, you're getting like a dope closet, but it's going to be like, super expensive. I like tried to like be a little frugal and use like the lower tier company and like didn't get the expensive material necessarily. I'm like, it's a closet. It's a closet. My closet looks cheap as fuck. Like if you get close in, like there's like glue, like these are on uneven, which like drives Cutter crazy. Every time he walks in, he's like the fucking drawer like you know yeah man it's kind of pathetic lesson learned i just i should have shelled out for the for the real thing it's a it's an incredible closet being cheap is expensive that's that's the line that is a good line buy once cry once that's the motto i live by what buy once cry once jamie take a guess on what that means take a guess work with me i like this game Take a guess. Buy once, Buy cry once. Buy once, cry once. I got nothing. Okay. All right. What it means is you you spend the money on the thing, the thing that you want of value, of quality. You spend more money on on it because it's of quality, and then you cry once, and then you'll have it forever. It won't ever. You won't. Oh, be buying you'll the never cheap cry version. again. You'll be happy you have it. Oh, that's right. Buy once, that's cry great. once. Yeah. Got it. Mm. You like that, Rob? I'm getting strong. <laughs> Rob, strong where business. are you? You look like you're in someone's grandma's house. Uh, both yeah, of you, I, both I, of you are out of your fucking minds with your backgrounds today. By the way, <laughs> out of your wrong with this? Fuck, I get shot out of your what fucking my background minds, is. dude. Just coming from the guy you with look, aliens and Bigfoot. Fuck and you, dude. Break. You look like you broke into someone's house. <laughs> While they're on vacation, you're fucking using their shit, dude. This and Jamie, you are on the floor in your giant walking clay. Both of you out of your fucking minds. You understand? What's wrong with it? This is old school New York living. There's there's holes in the ceiling. Robbie, I feel it. I can feel it. Yeah. through the video picture I of a motherfucking exa- I know what that giraffe. Room, I know what that room smells like. Yeah. Well, Kaz, you're gonna love this. So. Uh, by the way, if you ever want to see like how fast my weight can transform, like I know people will be like, oh, it's the angle and it's this. Go look at the Miami pod we did two or three weeks ago. And then since those three weeks, Rex's wedding, I've been eating fucking pizza. And yes, this. I love when you live it up. I love when you get like Jamie, this. you don't understand. Every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, ugh. Ugh. That's, so like you, you know. love, yeah. you're like, I love that you look like that. I, I enjoy myself for 45 minutes while I eat. And then for 23 hours a day, when I see myself, I go, oh, you pig. Welcome you are to living. my life. What do you mean? This is how I live every day. Do you know? Mm, <laughs> yeah, but listen, when you're like, I was just telling him, you guys both have long, like long. almond shaped faces. I have almond. a pancake face. And when I get chubby, see these? This comes out. I look like I'm fucking 12 years old. I still it's see your cheekbones. Terrible. You're good. It's terrible. No, Jamie, this is, this is, look at this fat, but. <laughs> I know you see it, but like, honestly, and then I'm not just trying to throw a compliment right back tennis style, but you look yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, listen, I can't tell the we difference. Could just, we could just put three weeks ago up a, a photo side by side. Gabby can yeah. do it. You could just tell. I have, I just, whatever. I don't want to complain about. How fast do you fat. think you could get to. Oh, 300 pounds. How long would it take you? Oh, 300, 300. pounds would be 300 pounds would be very rough. Whoa. What was the most you ever weighed as a kid? <laughs> I weighed two. I, w- I literally I remember being like 198 and then I was like, I got to lose weight. When were you it biggest? Right depressing. when we started the show? Right. Yeah, probably right. Right. Uh, the pilot of Sopranos. Maybe. How yeah. long would it take for you to get to 198 from right now? What are you well, at right let now? Me, let me give you this. I can get I'm at uh 140 ish like around there i could be i could be 145 after a meal i could be 136 if i'm like really good so we call it 140 i can get to 160 in 
three weeks. You can gain weight fast. I can gain 20 pounds in three weeks. So can I. Yeah, I easily. can gain weight so fast. Why, did, why even, is that? I'm not, I don't know, but I'm I can lose you, weight fast though. Yeah, I can until I hit a certain point and then it just becomes like it's tough. But yeah, I, I can lose weight pr pretty fast. Do you guys subscribe to the theory that I'm just about to make up? I don't know if this is a theory, but if your body's been that weight before, it can get to that weight yes. quickly. Like you're, it's like muscle memory for your cells. I've never thought about it, but probably. Because I got to tell you, I've never really like been super overweight, but since I stopped working out, it's been very easy for my body to pile on the pounds because it's, I don't know if it's because my, my skin got stretched out because there was a little, I was a little bigger last year and the year before. And then now that I'm not working out, I'm shrinking. But when I'm eating, it's being filled with fat. Does that make any sense? I'm filling in the, no. the lost muscle memory no. with fat. I no. hear what you're saying, but it's, 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 it's just also skin. It's hard. And again, this is going to be like a podcast of three people telling each other how skinny they are, which is terrible. But it's like, I. This is our lives, I'm, dude. You're, we're in our walk in closets talking about how skinny <laughs> we are. Yeah. When I. Yeah. We're such. Thank God I'm out of LA, man. I'll, I'll be different in six you months. You tell five. me when you're ready to shift the subject and I'll shift it hard. Uh, okay. Well, we, we will. But also, I just want to say I, I'm my favorite Rob right now not not with the with the new york rob i'm back in new york i got here yesterday you're yeah. so happy when you're in new york you're so happy when Dude, you're in new this york. happened but last time everybody. you were there last time you yeah. were there you got off right off the airport and you were like right in the you swing become of it. Some, alive. some chick told you to fuck off or something like you were right back to rob, you, you're gonna end up back there I just can't do. Listen, now that flying has is becoming easier for me, I think I can be somebody who would be like, I like if I could find somebody. But who would want to be in New York for the winter? If I could find somebody to be like, like, hey, we each have an apartment. I do six months there. You do six months here. I would do it tomorrow. You know, mm -hmm. I would do six months in New. When I'm here, mm -hmm. it's just my favorite thing in the world: the place, the people, the food, the attitude. The, like, and P I always talk about this when people talk about like, oh, people in New York are super liberal and they get offended that. I've I've never been around someone, and maybe this is people who move to New York, and those are the type of people who are like, I'm a New Yorker, and I'm there. All of my friends, I grew up in New York City. I, I was just around them all for Rex's wedding. There's nothing you can't say. There's nothing you could do. Like, it can go so crazy. And, like, not only do they not get offended, like, they don't bat an eye. Like, there's Well, like, you know nothing. what I feel about New Yorkers? I feel like... They allow other people to be themselves. It's not a threat to them if somebody dis is is different than them. You're around so many different people all the time that it's not like a threat to your ego or your or yourself or your beliefs if somebody believes something different than you. Obviously, we're not talking like common human decency things, but you know, there's there's just room for for discussion, there's room for difference. And I don't think that there's a lot of other places like that anymore. Yeah. I I'm just, it. I'm in LA, man. It's all I know. Everyone, everyone's an idiot. Everyone's the smartest guy you've ever met. And also the yeah. biggest idiot you've ever met. Yeah. No one knows how to drive. Everyone knows how to drive. It's just mm. a city filled with ju like just counter counterpoint to mm. counterpoint, you know? So mm. I went today, I got here yesterday. Today I woke up, I was like, because we sat in the car, five hour road trip yesterday, which is the longest I've done, like since I got in my car crash, I think. And I was like, wow, but it was pouring rain the whole pouring time, rain. huh? Whole time. Why you is your anxiety, anxiety worse? And is your anxiety worse on a plane or worse in a rainy car ride for five? Yeah, just b because this sounds like crazy, but because Rex is driving, I was like, he's he's probably this one of the best yeah. drivers besides I would, Cass. I would Thank put my kids that. in a car with Rex. Yeah, like I was yeah. just like, you know what? Like it's it's fine. But he he did some moves where it was raining and I was like, "Yo, you you didn't need to do that." Like we didn't need to get, you know, up there. Like it was hard to see out of the windshield at times and but whatever. I hate that. I hate that so much. So I I got back here and it was like, you know, Whole Foods go, go to bed and then mm -hmm. uh today <laughs> woke up went right to the gym. They were like, oh, you've been a member here before. You can get the rest of the month for 50 bucks. So I could do for the fucking the next two, three weeks for 50 bucks. 
uh, I leave the gym. I order like my favorite food here. It shows up right as I get to the door. I, and then uh, Yuri and Joey hit me up. They're like, we're going to be uptown. We happen to be uh, like right over where you are. You're in your them. flow there, man. Oh, I meet them for a slice. Uh, they each have like a slice of pizza. We're sitting there and Joey starts rolling up a joint. Oh like, my right God. Right at the, t- in the middle of the street at the table in New York city. And I'm like, oh, okay. And Rex was telling me it's legal to have two ounces of marijuana in your hands walking down the street in New York City. That's (laughs) that's a big change. Yeah, you can just, and I haven't been here since that. So, and by the way, this candy store, like they haven't opened up legal weed selling, but yet all the candy stores just sell weed. Like you could just go in and fucking buy weed at a place that's like, oh, we have rolling papers, but also weed. So uh, I was... I uh, was sitting at the table with them and Joey's like, I'm going to smoke. And I was like, I don't know. And then I was like, you know what? Like, yeah, smoked with Joey, walked home. Like, it's just a fucking, I went with Rex. He was like grabbing a salad. I walked with him to the place to get just to like, and I was like, I'm back in the city, baby. You don't even try. You walk five miles in a day. So healthy, so good people. It's a vibe. Like, I just love, I fucking love this city. Wow. Yeah, I just got. It took me fifty <laughs> minutes to get home today. Uh, there was, uh, you know, it really the traffic on the one thirty four was super congested. But when I got to the four hundred five, right by the ten, it was a Forget lot about less. It. Yeah, it was a lot. It was. It wasn't as bad as it normally is. So well, same, the four hundred five is eleven. 11- 11 lanes wide like how can there ever be traffic on that fucking you know that it's It's proven it's like when you open they they do lane widening they they did that in the 405 like years ago and 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 it's proven that nothing changes (laughs) but it all it does is more people fill in and and traffic does not get any any better really i I believe it because and then yeah huh yeah, yeah. So that's why they don't do any more lane widening because they just like study after study. That's like it's the same. You would have yeah. to have like double or triple decker freeways for anything to really matter, and that's like just near impossible. We just it would be easier for everyone to just start riding bikes, you know. All right, we talked about how we're all too fat. We talked about traffic. What do you? Yeah. What's next, guys? What? Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. You know, I saw somebody talking recently about his hu- how as human beings, are, we're naturally hardwired to always see like the negative in anything or the negative outcomes that can come out of anything because that's how you can survive, right? So we're naturally wired that way. But as people and as a species, we're trying to evolve and get to find more peace and, and happiness and joy in our life. And one of the main ways that I'm able to do that and find the tools to be able to do that is with therapy. And all of us have talked at length about how therapy has helped us individually at all different times. And we want to tell you about BetterHelp. And we've told you about it before, because if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, I think BetterHelp is a great option. Okay. It's convenient. It's accessible, it's affordable, and it's entirely online. You just take this quiz, you get matched with a therapist after just filling out the brief survey. You can switch therapists at any time. You can make it convenient. It could just be on video. It can be on just on a voice, however you want it. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash pajama today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash pajama. I need to talk about the don't worry, darling drama. This is Hollywood. Okay? Hollywood drama. I have not. Wait, wait, cared- one second. Sorry to cut you off. Here's what I like about this. You're going to explain it to the audience like, but you're explaining it to me. You know what I yeah, mean? Because everyone know, I that's have... listening knows exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, I don't think so at all. I, I do. Th- I think there's a good mix. I think oh, yeah, Jay- that's what I think. All right. Yeah, there's a good okay. mix. Sorry, Jamie. I didn't mean to cut you. And off. there's people so, like me who know a little bit, but probably aren't up to speed on all of it. So I can't. All wait right, to- I'll got you. So I have not cared so much about like a Hollywood like scandal, not, not scandal. It's just like drama or like backstage stories. And I don't know how long, maybe since like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie got together. Okay. Wow. Really? So yeah, I'm not wow. like a gossipy person, but this one, I don't know. It's like, get. I'm like, I need to fucking know. Cause it's so layered. Right. Mm-hmm. So it all started because Olivia Wilde, 
um, has directed this and it also is stars in a film called Don't Worry Darling. Um, it's where she met Harry Styles. It stars Harry Styles and Florence Pugh and a bunch of other great people, including Chris Pine and Nick Kroll, Gemma Chan. Okay. Kate Lentz in it, too, who's one of my favorite uh, comedians. She's There you go. It took me 20 seconds to get lost. I don't know where we're Okay, going. this is Olivia Wilde's about. second movie. People are very excited about it. Epic cast, all these people on the rise, and it's... And it's where apparently Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde fell in love, began their relationship, which people don't know if it it was scandalous or not, if it was clean, if it was not, whatever, it doesn't Do you matter. Mean like together. They, you mean like, like did in, she leave in her terms husband of her and for Jason him? Sudeikis? Okay. Right. All right. So Rob's taking a piss now. Now no, no, no. Water. <laughs> so free water, baby. The, the beginning of the drama started where it was like as the movie's getting getting ready to come out, like people are noticing that like Florence Pugh isn't like mentioning Olivia in any of her posts or like isn't talking about her and like clearly avoiding the question. And then it came a uh, clear like avoiding talking about her. And then it was about like whether she was angry that they got together during the shoot, meaning Harry and Olivia. Um, and so there was like rumors of that. So everything, everybody I think was waiting to see like if they'll talk to each other at the press line or at the red carpet. Next thing you know, Florence is like, yeah, I'm not showing up to do any press because I'm shooting another movie. I'll just be there for the red carpet. Bye. So now this rumors are spinning even more. And then there was a rumor maybe Florence was hooking up with Harry when the movie started and then like and then him and Olivia started. So who knows what it was. Then Olivia does an interview for like Variety or something. And she talks about how it was originally Shia LaBeouf in the role that Harry Styles is in. But that sure, there were people in the film that didn't feel safe with his method of acting and his process. So she, and she does not stand for having like women feeling uncomfortable in her set. So she fired him. And Shy is on like a sort of a redemption tour right now where he's like, I'm an asshole. I've been a fucking asshole. I admit it. Like I'm working on myself and being super honest. And this story comes out and he's like, oh, hold up receipt and he puts a fucking video that olivia sent him like in like a private text being like hey man like super hot just finished riding my horse but um i'm like <laughs> devastated <laughs> i'm like devastated or like heartbroken i really want this to work you know maybe this was a wake-up call for miss flow meaning florence pew which who knows what that's pertaining to but like Tell me how we can make this work. Like, let's do this. So he's like, yeah, no, you didn't fire me. You were begging me to come back. And and she kind of like shit talk her actress. And so now maybe this is fueling Florence even more to not like her. And then now people online are starting to call her Miss Flo and like tagging her or whatever. And Shy was like, no, I just didn't like that there, there was no rehearsal period and I need rehearsal period for my film. So I I bowed out. So now poor Olivia, she's having her film come out and she's having to dodge like all of these fucking questions. But wait, why do you mean poor Olivia? I don't know. Like I don't. Was... Yeah, they're villainizing her in the press, but I don't know what the truth is. Well, I'm you just... just said she said one thing and there's a video proving that she's full of shit. OK, but there. but also like I think this is like one thing after another that's sort of like snowballing into her sort of being like the center of the, all this drama and who that. That was wrong. Like, whatever she said about Shy and then him being like, no, you didn't. Like, eek, whoops. Like, that was not cool. But the other stuff, I don't know. Yeah. But the, still, this girl worked really hard on this film, and she's about to premiere at a Venice Film Festival. It's her second movie, and there's just all this shit around it, which kind of sucks. So the premiere happens. They're on the red carpet. Flo doesn't even look at Olivia. Will not post wow. pose with her. Wow. Always two to three people away from her. Like no eye contact. Nada. Nor does she have any eye contact or in interaction with Harry Styles. Oh, no, no. Chris no. Pine and Flo are like this. Okay, mm. like he's sees her on the carpet. He starts taking <laughs> pictures of her. They're so cute. Like they're so cute. Clearly, they have like the cutest relationship. Yeah, he's in between them, but he's cool because he's still next to Olivia, whatever, in the pictures. Mm -hmm. So now it's time for them to come into the theater. Olivia's sitting down. 
Chris Pine is next to her. Clearly, they're introducing all the actors, and they must have just introduced Harry Styles. He walks in. Everyone's cheering. And in slow-mo, it seems as if Harry goes like this on Chris's lap to spit on him. You see no spit, but the reason why everyone thought this motion towards him was spitting on him was because Chris Pine was sitting there and went like this. Like, looked down, smiled as if somebody fucking just spit on him. And then, like, slow clapped. And then Olivia looks, like, super awkward. Look it up. It's hilarious. It's all over places. So you want to know how stupid I am? I So I saw, this was on the cover of, of Yahoo where I checked For my sure. account. And it was like, oh, uh, this guy spits on this guy. So I was like, what? And, like, I watched one play of it, and I was like, this is stupid. Like, I don't even care. But... I'm so dumb that when I saw Chris Pine, I thought that was Chris Pratt, right? Right. But then I saw who he was, and I was like, oh, okay, no, that's Chris Pine. And But meanwhile, um, the reason I say I'm so dumb, the whole time you were telling this story, I thought you were talking about Chris Pratt. Oh, no. And then Chris I was Pine. like, oh, Chris Pine is a different guy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So Chris Pine's rep came out was like, there was no spit. You guys are just trying to make drama, whatever. But then the last piece of it that's going around right now. And also Florence did like a number of Instagram posts about the premiere and like calling certain people out and still never said a word about Olivia or Harry. So she's, she's, she's fucking she don't give a shit. She's drawing it clear. But then there's this like video going around of Harry talking about the film and he's speaking from the heart, but he's not, he's maybe not saying like the most like eloquent things. Like he didn't have like the greatest answer as to why this is a wonderful film. He was saying things like, because it's like a movie movie. Like, you know, it's like a film, like a movie you would want to see in a theater, you know, like a movie movie. Like, it was a very, like, weird answer. Like, I don't know if he was tired, like, he was over it. And Chris Pine is just sitting there, like, staring in his face, like, blinking slowly. Like, he cannot believe this answer. Also could have had nothing to do with Harry, but that video's been going around as well. I'm watching it right now. <laughs> clearly. Jimmy, could you imagine this nonsense clearly. was going on when we were doing Sopranos, like, people analyzing every little thing everyone did and oh is this person with this and like there was no stories from sopranos like nothing not one not one there was like no drama we were the most boring set probably in the history of hollywood well i don't agree with that but i think all the shit that happened well, was you like know what i mean a meaning no word. drama like, yeah no like it was like shit was you know things would go down but who's gonna fucking say a peep mommy needs a chicken salad yeah, mommy needs her chicken salad. Um, I just watched it. Okay, Clear, which one? Clearly, Harry Styles is the one where Harry Styles is spitting on Chris Pine. Uh-huh. You see Harry Styles go. Something happened. He's trying to do it covertly when his back is turned. He's about to sit down. Mm-hmm. You see his mouth go, and then you see Chris Pine's reaction, and Chris Pine's like, All This right. fucking guy. And then Harry Styles, like, you know, he he's like uh, playing for the audience and camera like he wanted to make it look like nothing happened. Yeah. Uh, love, love this stuff. Lo- absolutely love this shit. Uh, I I can't get enough of it. Let me tell you what I know about this and you can tell me. me. What do you know? No, I don't know anything more. Ugh. This is what I've heard. OK, if this was anybody but the two of you talking about yeah. this. I, I would be jumping out the window of my friend's yes. place. Yes. <laughs> Yes, welcome to the Hollywood Minute so with Jamie much. and Cass. Yeah. Uh, so it's I a heard, Hollywood like twenty seven minutes we're going to spend on this. I'll and I'll wrap this up quick. But I heard <laughs> um, that Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde were fucking so often, th- and they were supposed now to be we're on talking. Set. They were fucking so much that uh, Olivia was like barely on set and Florence would have to like direct some of the scenes because she was just getting fucked so that. hard by Harry Styles in her trailer. That's what that. I heard. Oh, poor her. Poor her. <laughs> poor I, Olivia. I, I, this has, there's a reason why Jason Sudeikis served her divorce papers so publicly, scene, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, How did he do it? He's mad. He, she was on stage presenting it at like, 
uh, what's that thing in Vegas called? Cine, Cinecon? The Porn Awards? Are you frozen, Cass? Are you okay? No. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I didn't know. I didn't know what the what it's called. But he did. He served her divorce papers Cinemacon very publicly, or something like that. Okay, yeah, she was like on stage talking about the movie, and somebody walked up and handed her an envelope, and she opened it and just yeah. like looked and kept She's talking. Like the winner is. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't give a shit about any of these people. I am a pro, I'm a team Shia guy. I, I think Shia are. as an actor, you, you your your either movie your movie either has shy in it or your movie's not as good Whoa. you know what i mean like shy is he's a pro he's problematic right but he's on um john bernthal's podcast that he does now where he's talking about oh how, what must now be he's a great a, interview it's a great interview but it's like through patreon so like i i haven't paid whatever it is but i've been catching oh you have to pay on, to listen that's i think how that's patreon how patreon works, works yeah Whoa, so I, 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 I i don't quote me i think that's how it works um, Shy is talking about how sh he's in the program now and how he's like entered uh sobriety and how he's doing all this stuff. And um, he he's like an abuse, he's like had he's owned up to oh. all the abusing and all the like, is not a good dude, or at least wasn't a good dude. Just lost, just like lost. he's on a path. He talked he's about trying. how he was suicidal, he had a gun on the table, mm -hmm. he like wanted to kill himself. And now is a member of uh, a certain 12 step program and he seems to be doing much better. And he's very open about um, yeah. how he's achieved sort of, or he's working on his sobriety and um, owning up and making amends for all the things that he's done. One thing Shia is not, he is not a bad actor. And uh, I love how he pulled the receipt up on Olivia Wilde. He, all he was asking for was more rehearsal time uh which is great i mean who wouldn't want to rehearse you know what i mean and uh he comes out looking kind of like you know uh in the right of all this did olivia olivia well, who, he oh. might he might have also wanted to like rehearse intimate scene because apparently there's like a lot of sexual stuff between the two characters in the film and yeah. he might have been like no let's rehearse this out physically not mark it it seemed to me like that's what a little bit of what it was and florence was like no, bro, like on the day we do that shit. And I think he was like, no, if right. we're going to rehearse, we're going to rehearse this as if we're doing a play and we're going to do it, this. And I think totally. that's what Olivia was like. Well, maybe this is a wake up call for her. This is how real actors do it, whatever. That's the intention I got from the phone call that uh, from the message that she left Shia, which was like Florence Pugh is now playing big boy movies and this is awake this isn't marvel this is like a big boy movie and now she's like seeing what it's really like that's the tone of the voicemail yeah. that we got yeah uh imagine shia labeouf in that role of whatever harry styles is role i mean that movie's 10 times better of course you, you want shia me. over harry styles it looks like olivia had a great time uh, i'm glad the millionaires uh continue to be millionaires and make um art and, and congrats to them for fans. the first time I, in the history of this pod, I feel like I'm both of your dad. Like the way that you're yeah. both talking about this. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like every time you say pew, pew. like it's just the whole, yeah. like, I'm like, what? Like it's reminding me that. Like, Do you even I know who that now. is? Do you know who Florence Pew is? I think on this pod, you showed me who she was. I could, yes. if you showed me, if you showed me she a picture She was on of mine two my people, list of girls. That's where it was. And oh. if, you showed me a, if you showed me a picture of two girls right now i couldn't tell you which one is florence Pugh. That, she was one of the girls you would have sex with jamie is that the list that we I have think, or like yeah something who'd we yeah. end up with kristen stewart yeah who'd we end up i with? thought it was scarlett johan no oh. it was kristen stewart <laughs> i think it was kristen stewart you wanted yeah you wanted her because she's more masculine and yes and yeah she, she would like manhandle you a little bit yeah Good be a little more aggressive yeah that's but flow would too now now that i see flows the way she gets down she might yeah. be creeping up there you know, there, there's like, there was a bunch of like podcast drama lately and it was oh. like com comedians and whatever. And like somebody, I didn't really care about it or whatever, but I did hear somebody say like, you like, uh, they talk about bullying and this. And like one of these guys, I forget who it was, was like, you can't be like a multi, multi, multi millionaire with a bunch of people who love you and so many friends and millions of followers and this and be a comedian and be getting bullied by someone. Like if you're, and you know, in the way that this was happening, obviously you can, if it was like physical or whatever, but in the way of like verbally, it's like you 
you're a comedian, you're a millionaire, you have so many people who support you, you have, it's like, turn it into who a Who is this? Tell joke. me, give me the tea. See, well, this was, is Rob, this is Rob's Hollywood. He, he pays attention to Well, no, to because I don't, I know, to the truth, but I you don't told me about, about but it. you were, you were filling me in on this stuff. I don't you know the not... truth about anything, what I just said. I'm just speaking of what I'm mm-hmm. being fed by Instagram. Well, mm-hmm. there's a, a lot of stuff pop was popping up on my timeline on YouTube, and it was about like, uh, Brandon Schaub, who does a podcast uh, mm-hmm. with like Brian Callen, and then it was like Bobby Lee and his girlfriend, and like all this stuff about they were in a. Re- oh, he was going to expose them being in an open relationship because the four of them are. No, no, no. The, oh. Kalila and Bobby, but like again, this is shit that like. Why did like, he need to expose them for that? What's his business? Because because th- he believed that some that. Somebody was running a Reddit account trashing his thing again. Like I was even like, this is too much for like, like again. I By the watched way, this who shit. gives a shit if they're in an open relationship? Why is that right? Like- well, I think because on the pod they were pretending like they were still together. So the thing is, like, they, which they they not only were in an open relationship for a while, but then it turned out they were not together anymore. Oh, uh, okay. But okay. like the vibe that I, the person like when all this stuff it's like if you want to do one pod like that like oh i'll watch some of it and maybe i'll be like oh that's interesting let this happen but then they drag it on and on and there's another oh, yeah, podcast no. and they're talking about it and, and it's like this Go is to not, therapy this, yeah it's not comedy like it's not funny it's and then other people are chiming in on it and they're doing this and like i just actually right before starting this like i saw a thing that was like a video that was like Joe Rogan breaks his silence on Brendan Shaw, Bobby Lee stuff. And like, I looked at it and it was from over three months ago. And like, people are still putting out videos today about like Kalila and Bobby. And it's just like, do you think after this podcast out comes out, they're going to be like, Jamie, Kasim and Rob break their silence on the don't worry, darling. Drop. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's just so like, but I agree with this guy who's like, so to me, somebody who's – and I know somebody could be like, well, what if they're fucking suicidal from getting bullying? It's like I, I, don't, I don't know. I think you need to be a little more – like if, you, if, if your life is fucking great, you, you're, everyone in your family is like happy, safe, healthy. You have a beautiful home. You have a wife. You, or you have money. You have fans. You have – like what – to then be like, hey, somebody – when you're in the entertainment industry, if you're like somebody's saying this stuff about me, and th- it's like just fucking – like yeah. you, you can't be so fucking fragile. Like I get it. It's like yeah. oh, this, but like oh, like I'm being bullied, and this person's saying this to me, and they're. But it's like I don't know. It's just, it seems like a bunch of horseshit. Yeah. Well, you know, if in, if anything, we all have our own drama that we like to pay attention to. You know, and <laughs> well, it it's, distracts us from our it's, own lives. It's exactly it does. We need that distraction sometimes. Yeah, but I don't. I, just... I, I like there are certain shows where like <laughs> you're not above like, it, dude. No, no, no. What when do you it comes mean? You to, love reality television. It's the same I thing. I was just bringing that up. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are certain <laughs> shows that I love, like, for that. But when I'm going to, like, comedians' podcasts, and they're of like, course, I you get said it. this about this, and then that's that. I'm like, ugh, I don't need... By the way, I don't watch any of, like, The Real Housewives anymore, because I just don't find it interesting and it's all like have you been watching any tv since you've been traveling like how are you unwinding it the only show i'm watching is uh what's that show that i love uh married at first sight i think it's so fucking good it's so good it's just because like the the social experiment of like taking two strangers and now you're married and you live together and you have to plan your whole entire lives together and this it's K like even when it's not drama it's like yeah it's just so crazy and you see I you know I think I've told you guys before but the one of my favorite things was like this couple was like in love like everything was going great there every time they saw them they were more in love in this and then like you know the woman said something along the lines of like well my kid you know well when our kid does this we'll have to give him a time out and he was like a time out he's like well, <laughs> we'd give him a whooping and she was like what like she looked at him like what like and all of a sudden like they were two strangers again like yeah. you know because it was like you're not hit like you're not hitting my kid and he's like oh yes I am and you're like <laughs> oh, oh like you know like shit like that is like that's those moments to me are like because what ready, do you do I'm ready for another love is blind I'm ready for one yeah I didn't like I didn't like that last season the first one was really what do good. you mean it was so good Shane and Natalie you ever hit your kid Jamie. <clears throat> Uh, I think I've, I've, I've got, I've done a pop on the butt. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, not a, that's not like a hard spank to hurt, sure. but yeah. like a, Hey, like, look at me type of thing. Yeah. But my, like my kids 
have never like felt like scared of my like hands. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I used to just get the absolute shit oh, out of me as a kid. I've, I remember running for my life. Yeah. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> I remember the phone calls of like when it was like after yeah. like, you know, there was like a meter of trouble I can get into. And then once it got into like a certain point, it was like, well, I'm calling your father. And then it was and I wasn't the type to be like, no, no, please. Like instead I was just, it was like, doom, like everything yeah. just there was, it was no like, escape. You knew. Yeah. I was just in my head of like, oh, no. And it didn't happen a lot where, you know, but when it did, it was like you're the, like, the, oh, God, I, I used to wish my dad would get into a car accident. instead of. <laughs> like, please. <laughs> Let him pass away your on the father. Freeway. Yeah, go ahead. What's he going to do? I hope his car catches fire on the 101. Yeah, I hope yeah. the next phone call we get is the police saying his body has been recovered from a car crash. <laughs> my God. Shit used to go down, dude. I remember the first time my mom, like, you know, uh, she used to take off her, her slipper. You know, that's not just a Latino thing. You know, no. taking the chonk off. Oh. She took off her slipper and, and, you know, went for the swing. And the first time I was like... I like grabbed her hand, you know, and just stopped it like a superhero. I... And the, and we both started laughing. Oh. You know what I mean? She's like, oh, I guess I can't do that. Oh, I guess I cannot do this anymore. You know, like it was it was one of those that moments. broke the ice. It was really funny. You know, it was like amongst all this abuse, there was some comedy in this. But uh, yeah, yeah but waiting for dad to come. My dad, you know, he was in two hours of traffic each way. Oh, he was coming way. home ripe. When he was, yeah. and he worked, he worked 10, 12 hour days. And then, so he was gone for 16, was hours, gone for 16 most days. hours. And when he would come home, if there was an issue, if we made his life hard or uncomfortable, or where my mom would be like, let me give you the download, he would waste no time. He would waste no time. Do in you blame it. him? Now that you know, like as an you're like kind of an adult and know what he was doing. I've done all the work around it. You know, it's not okay to hit your kids. I don't think that's okay. No, but I'm I my experience is my experience, and I'm I'm generally okay now. But like, uh, you know, these guys are doing the best they can, and this is a man that was that grew up. Also, grew up Middle East. He was in the Middle East in the '60s, which is like the USA (laughs) in the in the twenties. Do you know what I mean? Like they're so far behind and the they, they were like stoning gay guys up until like, yeah. you know, the seventies. I don't know. They could you still know, be. Can, oh, speaking of that. So you guys have watched the Manti Teo documentary. No, I haven't seen <gasps> it. I, I keep oh passing my God, by You it. guys have to, it's so good. Yeah. It's so heartbreaking. But one thing I can say, like, it's not ruining anything for you. I mean, you know, the story, but like seeing the backstory is pretty Epic. You got catfished is the story. Yes, but like yeah. just the way it all went down, your heart's going to fucking break for this guy. It's it's really sad. But they were showing all of this news footage from when the story was blowing up and people were wondering whether he was in it or not. And then a big one of the big rumors was, is he gay and is he covering it up? So this right. happened in what, 2007, 2008? Oh, was it that far? Was now? it that long ago? Yeah, I thought or this may- was. Holy shit. Or maybe 2013? I felt like years 10 ago? years ago. Okay, I thought okay. maybe 10 years ago. All right, but... even worse, okay? Yeah, I don't know. So then they start showing all the footage of the people talking about it, and they're going from everywhere, from like CNN, ESPN, you know, Fox News, Today Show, and all these news anchors are talking like, is he gay and covering it up? And the way that they're talking is like, I mean, like on Sports Center, the guy was like, I mean, if he was gay, I mean, what are his teammates supposed to do? They're not going to look at this guy as a leader if he's gay. Of course he has to cover it up. Yeah. And this is on like fucking evening yeah. news. They're all talking this way. And it just, I was like, first of all, this was not that long ago that it ever happened is terrible, but not that long ago. And it, it was one of those moments where you're like, you know, when people say you, you're really, you're privileged. Like you have no idea what it was like to be me at a certain point in time or even today and watching that it really broke my heart i'm like that's so fucked up the way right. people spoke like that it you're you, you know it is it, it was like yesterday this shit and who happened. knows what's happening now that one day we'll be like oh my god the civil rights movement happened 60 years ago that's like barely one like that's just yeah your your grandpa you know yeah. what I mean? Like it's it's uh it's crazy to me. It's crazy to me that we're the Holocaust was 80 years ago. 
You know, th this is like something obviously a little different, but I was talking about it today with, I think, Joey. My grandfather used to drive a taxi in New York City. He would park the taxi outside of a bar, go into the bar, and get <laughs> shit-faced. I mean, like, blackout drunk, come out, get into the taxi, and pick up the first person with his arm out, drive around, and drive the cab until his buzz was going off. Then he'd go back to the bar, drink some more, get back in the cab, drive people around. And this was, I mean... Your you grandpa know, I, that I knew? Yeah. Yeah. Pop? This was maybe... And by the way, like this wasn't the thing where it was like, oh man, Bobby's crazy. Like, look what he's doing. It was like, oh, this is what me and my cab driver buddies did. Right. Like, we all wow. went to the same bar. We met... This was like... That's like, wow. Crazy. Wow. Crazy. Oh, New York in the 80s was a fucking the Wild West. Oh, my. Let me tell you. It's back. Did you guys watch the video uh, I sent you today? Yes. No, I there didn't was. See it. So in the neighborhood, I grew I'm gonna up I'm going to watch in, it again right now while you tell the story. There was a guy who was driving the wrong way down Second Avenue fishtailed another car for that car oh, to turn around. I saw around that. Yes, yes. And do a 180. That was in your uh, neighborhood? Yes. That's the block I grew up on. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like, I don't know what this guy was after, but he's in a Mercedes and he's completely like pit maneuvering this SUV. Going the wrong way down 2nd Avenue. Right. So he hits the guy. Then they're driving up on the sidewalk. The guy's trying to get away, which... It's crazy, but apparently the guy had a bag with twenty thousand dollars. I don't know if he was like a, uh, yeah, uh, mean, it was like a payroll kind of thing. Joey said possibly, but like so. Then the guy finally stops his car. He gets yeah. out of the car and starts beating on the car with a butt of, with the butt of, the of a gun at he like noon on out. a fucking yes Friday or some shit, whatever it is. Did Cra they catch New York this City dude? Is back because, because like no, not they didn't only catch is, Did they catch this? But it's it's on like. There's like four different camera angles. It's yeah. like shot like it's a show it a, because of how many a, people were out. Yes. It's was a, it a car chase that was happening for a long time? I don't think so. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no. I, it, <laughs> what happened? What are you laughing at? Guys? Rob just called it the Zapruder film. <laughs> the what? It was the Zapruder film. It was like the Zapruder film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a rand it was a random robbery? Well, apparently the guy did like payroll or some shit and it oh, was he, he knew he said. had a bag with twenty thousand dollars in it. And oh. yeah, so that's hi yay. -yi. Shit, New York you. City is well, and like you know, I know people. LA here, I hear is bad too, but I know people here who are in law enforcement, and and they're like, well, you can't do anything because then if you arrest them, they're just back out the next day, and like people don't want to do well, anything. The, it's paperwork. the fucking woman, that young woman that was abducted and kidnapped and killed in was it Virginia? She's like a, a billionaire heiress or something. The guy that did it. Just got out of jail for 20 years for kidnapping and abducting and murdering a girl when he was 16. It wasn't sad until you said she was a rich person. Now I feel I feel bad. Well, I that's, that's why I prefaced loss. it that way. That's a big loss. <laughs> uh, Sheesh, I that, a, in the, that in the heat, huh? Don't leave your house, everybody. J Jamie. <laughs> oh, this this just in from Kasim. Uh, don't leave your house, everybody. <laughs> Between that and the heat, I got a great. Inside. I got a great manicure today. Look at these! Wow, we are we are paw. This is a good paw today, guys. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe this should have been the one you weren't recording for, Cass. My gosh, it, it's Jamie, just also there's like denim in I Jamie's want, frame. It I looks like a guy's just exposing himself. <laughs> to Jamie. I didn't even realize that. It's so we're so we've so just let go. That I you didn't guys even are realize out of your minds. Half of her frame was covered in a denim jacket. We have all right, guys. <laughs> is there a it's because there's a bench right here. And I, I saw no, I saw it the whole time, but like I I I knew she was gonna say that. There's nothing nothing we can do. Nothing After this pod, do. Jamie shuts her laptop, lays back, and just cries. Here, there you go. Is that better? There's nothing you could uh, do except that, <laughs> except, <laughs> except turn it to the left an inch. 
<laughs> wow, how'd you figure that out, Jay? Christ. <laughs> I, I, I would like to ask our panties to get on our Reddit page and tell me your thoughts on the drama that I care about. Yeah, there oh, are yeah. people that are listening to this. Look, if there's one thing that we know that this is a very diverse crowd. We asked this crowd if it's if you guys watch Sopranos, but also watch Star Wars. I got a, a bunch of emails uh, from you guys out there. You, you guys made yourself known. There's people out there that know about this Hollywood drama, know about the podcast drama, but also watch the Sopranos and Marvel. Speaking of emails, I have a couple if you want. I can read them. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, Jamie, one thing I saw was uh, another thing I was on like the cover of Yahoo when I checked my email, which everybody makes fun of that I use Yahoo. It's but crazy, dude. What? What? I MS. I don't know. I, ever, I tried to get Gmail and I'm like, this doesn't work for me. Like, I don't know how to. I don't like using it. it I don't feels know. Oh, my God. It's too bright. It was always too maybe too they have dark mode now, but I, it just bro. didn't. It didn't go. You know, I don't. I'm not a follower. It's too bright. Cat. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Jamie, so there was a thing on the cover of Yahoo that was like, people were mad at Beyonce's, at Beyonce, for, or was it Beyonce or was it somebody else who said spasms? Oh. She was like, spa, a spasm. Oh, Lizzo. Was it Lizzo? Yeah. What, what did Lizzo what? say on the cover of Yahoo? Like, yeah. no, in like one of her songs, she was said like how she spazzes out or something. Yeah, she's like, a spasm. What's wrong with ass. that? What's wrong well, with that? Oh, what's wrong with that, Cass? You're not woke enough. I'm going to tell you, people Pick who come out of spasms, LA, people who live with spasms, were your sad. friend Jamie Lynn Sigler Dykstra. Oh, are you a are you a spazoid? <laughs> Sometimes I can't oh help my it. So God. yeah, so if you're saying, oh, you spaz out, like it's a bad thing. Like, how's that supposed to make me feel about myself? Whoa! Preach, and she sister. apologized and changed it. Wow, care. Jamie, do you say fucking... that? Do you say my partner when you talk about your uh, husband? No, my, my husband. Do you, do you ever say my partner to Never. anyone that you're talking? He's not. To? He's my husband. What about all the nine binary folks that are that whoever don't... they have they 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 can talk about? What if they feel offended that you said husband? Did you watch that clip from Joe Rogan? I'm not offended when they say partner. No, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. So there was a clip from Joe Rogan that popped up on my thing today. It's so weird that you're saying this. And the guy who was his guest was like, I went into a coffee shop and I was like, hey, uh, I'll have a coffee and my wife will have a cappuccino. And the person was like, do you mean your partner? And he was like, (laughs) and the guy was like. No, I only brought that up because my partner says my partner. So. Oh, so do, do you do you yeah. have to say it back? Who's your partner? No, I say girlfriend. Oh, oh, well, that's a. But when I'm at work, you say a partner. Wait, who the fuck is your girlfriend? Wow, guys, big news. Now Are you trying we're to just, like, distract me with your robbery <laughs> stories that you have a wow. girlfriend. Is it, a, is it inappropriate for me to pee while we pod? No, you already did. Okay. Put it on mute. Yeah, I'm gonna pee. Well, you guys talk. I'll Hold listen, on. Kaz. Talk about your girlfriend. Put put the frame. Yeah, just frame it up so we can barely see it. <laughs> Whose home is this? This is Rex's parents' home. Oh my! I will. I will quickly say. Uh, yeah, I've been dating someone. She's a wonderful gal. She's my partner. Um, and uh, I'm I'm sm- absolutely smitten. Oh, by this it's the best feeling. Absolutely. Cass, you rebound quick. Well, it's been four months. I mean, quick. Give me a boof. I like that too fast, Jamie. No, tell me about her. My about my partner. <laughs> She's sure. She what she her pronouns are she her. Okay. Uh, and uh, she's a she's a wonderful gal. She's uh that's gendered language. You've said that. Can you say something she's, uh, beyond that? She, she, I'm trying to keep it vague here. Um, Why? Who are you? She's famous. <laughs> she's fa- she's Florence He only dates Pugh. famous chicks. Yeah, she's Florence Pugh. Ah, oh, great. Let's hang out. She's Florence Pew Pew. Would you rather be uh, I date Olivia Wilde or Florence Pew? Pew. Okay. Wild. Shia LaBeouf or Chris Pugh. Pine? You want in the in the bedroom Pine. is it Shia LaBeouf or Chris Pine for you? In the bedroom? Yeah. Pine. You want you want a different one in the sheets. You don't think Shia you don't think Shia would just completely fucking rock your world? 
Just fucking nope, I don't. I don't want anything. Slam that ass. That. He nope. needs a guy who showers. He's like more. young. Chris He's Pine is young. like one of the best Who's looking young? guys in Hollywood. Chris uh, Shia. Say. How old is Shia? He's, He's not fucking, that much younger He's than Chris like, Pine, He's like five he? years younger than you. He's like oh. my age. How We're old like is the Chris same Pine? Age. My age. But he looks, huh. I mean, Chris Pine. Does Chris it get any better than Chris Pine? He's like Who's turning to Brad Chris Pitt. Pine? Who's hotter? Oh, well, see, I don't like, I, I, there's some guys who look at him and be like, I think that's a good looking guy. I Chris Pine, I don't see it. Really? You don't see Chris Pine? No, I, he's I, also like really talented. Guy. He's also a really he's good actor, fun. and he's I think just, it just makes someone so much more attractive when they're a great actor. I don't think I've ever seen know. anything he's done. <laughs> really? I, I can't think of anything. I've, Wonder I've Woman? Seen him in. No, you're not a big Star Trek head, huh? No, crazy. Princess Diaries too? Never saw one or two. Um, uh, Wet Hot American Summer. I think he's in the. Oh the, yeah, the newer I saw version, that. The newer version of that. I think. Oh, in, maybe in that. Yeah. Are you wearing your Love Island hat? I went, I went to, we're watching Love Island right now again. Mm -hmm. I went to go buy the water bottles that are sold out. Customized uh, water bottles. Do you, don't you have one of those or you just have the hat? No. What do you think? I'm a loser? I just yeah, started the old man. Absolutely. I just started sorry. the old man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh man, this, you're out of your we're, fucking mind. Where we we pod, baby. You I thought, oh, I I thought, this, you, <laughs> let I me get thought to you guys email, had dude. talked about that show to me, and so just I was, the, just what you did. I I want when you watch if you watch this pod back, I want you to replay that moment where you said, or, uh, or should I'm, wa I'm the watching clip. the old man? I'm watching the old man. <laughs> it was a double cough. I think she she. <laughs> You're fucking out of your mind, dude. You spaz. You spaz on me. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. What's a nice way to say that? I yeah, like a, 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 a spasmatic. Well, you, you have like the spasms. Spasmatic. I don't know. You're spaz prone. Yeah, we were. <laughs> fucking Spastic. About it. We were in the Spastic. middle of something else. Like, just it's potting 101. We should go and teach a pod class at a college. <laughs> like, so when the other two people you pod with are talking about something, uh, you want to interject with maybe something you're randomly watching and then cough. <laughs> 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 and as I, as I, uh, here's an example from episode 159 of Pajama Pants. You could see behind me. <laughs> I'm watching old man. I'm watching the old, I'm watching the old man. <laughs> what are you guys want? I'm watching the old man they're going to look back generations from now at entertainment in, in the year 2022 and this is where it'll be denim it'll be denim on this side of the screen <laughs> I'm watching old man <laughs> yeah. this is quality I'm in my closet I'm not in a chair here's denim old man <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're playing, is it a pant leg or a jacket? <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. You can't even see it anymore. What do you mean? No, you're the best. All right, I'm going to read an email. Uh, and then you're we're right, Jamie. Get out we here. only saw it for the first 40 minutes of the <laughs> now, you see, now you see this pole that's holding oh. up this cabinet. I got to wow. go have dinner. My partner's waiting for me. Oh. That's like she, the clearance rack. <laughs> this is from uh, a guy named Fonzo. Oh, like Sup, it. PJ Pants crew. Your friendly neighborhood Texas truck driver here and listener from day one. How about that? Just wanted to say, listen to the episode where some chomo touched Kasim's bike through the fence. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Double inside mommy jokes. I'm going but to I dinner with Christina P. tomorrow night in New oh, York. Nice. She's never met New York raw. Oh, oh, awesome. oh, dude. Tell her to wear her fucking <laughs> jogging shorts. And She's uh, ready. Her Adidas. She's going to be walking Gabagool right? with a side of Gabagool. Wow. But I'm not writing in for that. I heard the email from Derek and y'all's words of advice. And, it, and he's talking about. Jamie, are you just rubbing your pants right now? No, I'm looking at all my jackets. <laughs> well, Gabby, can you put together just a highlight reel of moments just of, of this Jamie episode? This just pod? a highlight of this, this episode. Pod. Yeah, the old man thing when she realizes that look at the camera just keeps going more and more <laughs> over. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> um, That's sad then. Jay, if you would hear what's going on in our headphones right now, it's like. Hey, well, Kaz, I'm trying to tell a story. I can't even. I, can't, <laughs> I don't want to read this email. Poor Fu Fuad's email. What's, oh, no, that's your dad. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, sorry, I'll stop. I heard the email from no, keep Derek. Going. <laughs> in y'all's words of advice, and it inspired my thick Hispanic ass to get back to the gym and start boxing again. Hell wow. yeah, brother. I've struggled with my panza for years and would drop a ton of what is that? Your fucking is that your uh the, the your, like a fupa? Is that like a fupa for men? Oh uh, and would drop a ton of weight, but gain it back once the motivation faded. I've been on the fence, not that one about going back, but have been struggling and kicking into gear because the only time I have to go to the gym would be 3 a.m. because of my work schedule. But after Ugh. hearing y'all, I've decided to stop being soft and get back to the point where gravity isn't fighting me as much. Anywho, just want to let you all know I appreciate y'all, and we've been through a lot of miles together, and I'm glad I found you guys to keep me up when the coffee couldn't. So please keep on Aww. keeping on your homie, Fonzo. Fonzo. Uh, and he gave the black pregnant woman emoji there four times. <laughs> and also, Derek, get that shit, homie. If anyone judges you at the gym, just remember, just do it and start a forest fire. Good for you, Fonzo. Wow. Fonzo, thank you for the email, brother. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> just do it and start a forest fire. That's that. That should be our shirt. Did we yes. say that? Is that a quote from the last podcast? I would, I would wear that sweatshirt all the time. J yeah. You asked us for motivational quotes, and I said, just do it. And Jamie yeah. said, only you can prevent forest fire. Or she might have said, start a forest fire. No, prevent. Fire. I was, only I you knew what I was saying. Yes, we say, just do it, start a forest fire. Just do wow. it. Good for you, Fonzo. Start a forest fire. Got another wow. one here from Zane. Oh. Hey, PJ Panthers. First time writer, long time listener. I'll stop by saying, I'll start by saying, it seems I'm one of the few that originally started watching for Cass. Hey, buddy. All hey, right. My I friends and I loved his California on vids back in the day and was blown away to hear about his journey to sobriety. Truly an inspiration. Thanks, buddy. I feel myself relating with Rob and Cassim all of the time, even though our paths to sobriety, abstinence, health, success, happiness are completely different. One of the reasons I love your show so much is it illustrates how different our paths can be, yet how relatable our day to day lives actually are. Jamie, geez, you're great. Looking back to the beginning, I had my reservations from my oh. own insecurities, I'm sure. But you quickly won me over 10x. Love seeing you in the big game commercial. What a surprise. Thank you for being you and keeping our friends Rob and Cass in line. Favorite moment. Rob and Cass and we're talking about how much money it would take for Rob to work a corporate job. As a corporate guy on the eight to four grind myself, I found this hysterical. I truly enjoy your company. Thank you, Zane from the Midwest. P.S. Oh, yeah, The Sopranos is a true masterpiece. 10 of 10. Loved every second of it, even the ending. P.P.S. I also wanted to say I struggle with addiction myself, and I'm now over 60 days abstinent. Some special thanks to Cass and Rob for being so open about their sobriety. Thank you. Uh, congrats on your 60 days, Zane. Uh, when did it? Congrats. Yeah, congrats, Good Zane. For you. Thanks for the email. Um, what do you guys say? Great yeah, note well, to go out on. Well, I want to say with like sorry for my behavior. You were <laughs> absolutely this is the funniest. That's you've the ever last. Been. That's the end of the, uh, her her montage. Sorry yeah. for my behavior, Gabby. Please do it. Do it for us. Um, I teed it up for you. <laughs> yeah, the thing I wanted to say about the Fonzo thing is like I think. It's so easy for me to go to the gym and work out five days a week because I don't have a fucking yes. nine to five in my yes. arm flowing on that. And like people who can like people who have a job, but then even more so people who have kids and, yep. they, and they still say stay yep. in shape and go to the gym. It's like that. Those are my power heroes. Power like, to holy you. Holy fucking power. Because to, truly. You really are working so hard at like making yourself better. But the other thing I want to say is like. Uh, don't uh, don't be like Castle. That's my oh. big word of advice today. Don't be like Castle, which is good advice. It's you good feel advice. like you have to be working out five days a week, or you do not at all, because it's great to f if you work out one day true. a week, it's a fucking win. This it is really is. If you do two days a week, two days a week is great. What are you laughing at? I'm laughing at Jamie. <laughs> She's completely tuned out, but she's like, "Yep." That's true. Yeah, her her laptop is now in the clearance bin shit. at yep. Ralph's. <laughs> you guys are on your I was thing, I was pulling up the ad to read first of all, but I was saying yes, this is true. This is what happened. I know. This is what I know. happened. This is yeah, what you got it. Really, if you can get if you can work out, Cassim got teenage. a job and he can't find the time. I can't. I can't. <laughs> 
<laughs> Absolutely. I deserve that. The uh, yeah, listen, it's very hard to do when you have a job. I haven't filmed for the last nine days. I've had so much time to work out. I cold plunged today. I worked out. I've been working out every oh, day. Yeah. Like I have all the time. Mm-hmm. I get it's so easy for me to do it. But when I'm busy, there's no like it's so hard to fit it into a life oh. because it just it feels like extra energy. It never is once you're there and you're always happy you did it. But it's yeah. it's. Very hard. So just like Rob said, I really commend anybody that can fit it in. And if you can, you know, maybe just try and teach Cass somehow. And here's the other thing. If you are also something (laughs) something I haven't had to deal with in so long, if you're living in a house with a bunch of people who are eating fucking pizza and pasta and and doing all this and not like because that's how where I was for the last two weeks and like I can't tell you how many times I ate pasta and how many but like You couldn't be the guy that keeps saying no. No, I just I couldn't go to a store. There's no Ubers out there. Oh. I couldn't. I didn't have any way to get to a store. And I'd be like, "Well, you if were, I want to eat, I got to eat pasta." To be to not be able to spend time with your best friend for so long, and just to be like sitting in a room and hear amazing. him laughing in the other room, it's like uh, th- it's just it makes you so happy. That's it's awesome. worth it's, it was worth the fucking fifteen pounds I put on, you know. And I'm You'll still I'm working out. No we're feeling good. Life is good. I miss you guys. I'm excited to see. I'll come you. visit you. Very I'll come yes, visit please. You. Come back to the hotel. One one last thing on the f- gossip note. I think I might be the last person of all time to hear. I, You know, Jamie, everyone knows this, I'm sure. But Rihanna tweeted like at some point back in the day at Beyonce. And it was like, yeah, I fucked your husband. So what? Do you know mm. that? No. This is yeah. great. I this saw that recently and somebody was like, you didn't know that? That's like fucking 10 years old. And I'm like, uh, again, I just felt like a grandpa. Rihanna tweeted, since we are spilling tea at Beyonce, I fucked your husband. Boom. That's a quote. Wow. She said, so she fucked Jay-Z. Is that what it is? That's what she's saying. And she tweeted this. Oh, in Ju- this July. Uh, oh, was it? No, wait. Oh, I so forgot July, when Solange oh, beat the fuck. I forgot when Solange beat the fuck out of Jay Z in that hotel elevator. Remember when Rihanna was at the same? It was at the Met yeah, Ball. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why were, is there were, beef between Rihanna and Beyonce? Like, what kicked this? I don't give a shit. Well, because we the, told what, you. They, what they apparently they they were fucking. It, it was 2015. She tweeted it. 2015. Yeah. So seven years ago, over seven years ago, she tweeted that, and we just heard about it. So. Thanks for tuning into your grandparents' pod. Wait, what do you mean we just heard about it? This article is from 2018. What happened? What did I miss what, here? What do you mean? I'm saying we just. Oh, uh, we just. Me and you just heard about it. Okay. Yeah, me, you, and Jamie just heard about it. All right. Well, uh, listen, guys. Thanks for tuning in for another pod. You know, if you're watching this on YouTube, do us a favor. Click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Know when our videos go live, which is every Tuesday morning. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on TikTok. We got a Reddit. Jamie and I are on Twitter and Instagram. I got a TikTok. Rob, on the other hand, he's off the grid. Don't you dare fucking try and contact him. If you do, use a pajama pants Instagram. Sometimes he'll answer DMs on there. Not anymore. You guys have anything? No, that's that's for the that's for the highlight reel. God damn it. <laughs> You're an all star today. We're man. in ra- rare form today. And you guys would be proud of me. I, I didn't read Philip Lerner's Philip from Long Island's email. I'm going to save it for next one. Philip, don't worry, buddy. I got your back. Everyone mm. can't wait for next week. <clears throat> all right. If you guys got drama, Hollywood drama, send it in. Ask pajama pants at Gmail dot com. We want your emails. We'll read them yes. on the show. Send us uh, your dating profiles uh, so we can judge you in front of uh, the thousand listeners that we have. We'd love to embarrass you. Fan favorite.